Hello everyone, my name is Monty Jensen. I'm with Capture Components, and I'd like to review today CC Scan and Salesforce. Uh, previously, CC Scan um, was being used to scan to Salesforce into the attachment section, into content, and into documents. And really where 99% of our clients wanted to scan to was that attachment section. So with the introduction of Lightning, that attachment section has changed a little bit. And if we look at an account, it looks virtually the same as it does in Classic. The layout, of course, is different, but it's organized pretty much the same. Uh, and near the bottom is the Notes and Attachment section. And in this instance, it suggests that we can upload files here. And of course, we know that if we click Upload Files, we have to browse back to the file, click Upload, and then go ahead and wait. And this does not OCR the document, so we're not able to search for the document by words that are in the document. And that's a real advantageous thing to do. So, looking at CC Scan, of course, I mentioned there were two ways to move that document into the attachment section. This job is configured so that it does just that. I'm uh, importing a document that is a sample document that is in our uh, download. When you download and install our product, you'll see a file called import uh, right at the root, CC scan, and then um, import. And then there's a TIFF file there. There's a bunch of files that uh, you can just grab any file and use them as samples. In this case, I'm going to convert this file to be PDF searchable, and I'm going to uh, store it into the f record that we were looking at previously. Simply look up the record. In this instance, we're looking up uh, Grand, I think it was Grand Hotels, yep. And I select OK. It writes the URL or the Salesforce unique ID number to this field, and we're good to go. So look over here on the right-hand corner when I click Start Import. Notice that the document does get OCR'd, and then it gets exported directly into Salesforce. This is what the sample or preview of the document looks like. So I'll do the exact same thing using a second job, and this job uses what we called Chatter back then. And notice that the library is the none chatter only library. Uh, it's not really going to chatter. We're going to send it to this record. We're going to post it to that same grand, uh, what was it, grand hotels, I think it was. Yeah, grand hotels. So again, it writes the unique ID number there, and I am going to import the exact same document. Notice it's OCRing it again. And it's now exported that document into Salesforce. So I have two identical documents in Salesforce in that account, that Grand Hotels account. I'll do a quick refresh here. And then... And now we have the record uh, refreshed. And as I scroll down to the bottom of the page, I see the Notes and Attachments section. And notice the jobs are displayed differently here. Uh, the Bitonal Attachments job... This was the one that was sent to the attachment section or using the attachments tool in CC Scan. And it sort of names the file of .pdf. It doesn't give me a visual representation of the document. It just shows me an icon and shows that it's an attachment. When I used the Chatter tool, it sent it to Chatter and it named it and it dropped the .pdf to the bottom uh, and gives me the file size that uh, the, the, the attachment is as well. And it also gives me an icon showing me the text there. Uh, if we take a look at that, we could do a quick preview right there. Uh, and notice the word limited. Uh, we're going to be key with that in just a second. And so if I go back to the global search tool in Salesforce, um, this is a way I can search for documents uh, in, let's see, D-O-N-A-O, um, using Lightning. Notice it only returned the one that was sent using what we call chatter, and it's really not chatter, but it uses only that one, uh, and it gives me the top results. So this is searching all of my accounts. If I had more than one uh, tonal, bitonal job or document that had been sent, it would show me all of the uh, other representations of it, and then I can narrow them down if I want. I can narrow them down by cases or accounts or by files, and it'll show me, uh, give me even more tools to refine that search even more if I wanted to find the most current or find uh, the last modified, etc., etc. So there's lots of options there. So let's go back to the accounts tab again one more time. Take a look at Grand Hotels. And remember it said the word limited. So if we go limited and we search for that word, 
the result is that same document. So we're able to see any documents that are in Salesforce by words that are in them now or by the name of the file or the name of the uh, imported document that we've moved into Salesforce. So those are real powerful tools now uh, to begin to search for documents within Salesforce and using Lightning. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My direct phone number is 415-286-1127. And again, my name is Monty Jensen. Thanks so much for your time.